Hello everyone, welcome to Recipes for Success. This is Will Co. and I'm here at Urban Cafe on 5500 Troost Avenue. And guess what everybody, we're really excited to share this special recipe and this special restaurant here in Kansas City. Uh, today is Minority Mental Health Awareness this month. And so what we really wanna do is take the time to take off the stigmatism of minority mental health. And we want to encourage people who are struggling in these times of difficulty to seek help. See, it's okay to get the help that you need. But we're also going to provide you some recipes for the day, some tricks to just kind of reduce anxiety, stress, uh, to kind of produce a better you. So Recipes for Success is all about you. And today we're going to take our time and really, really show you how this recipe comes together. Now, when we look at your diet, a diet is very, very important. It's you are what you eat. And so this month, we want you to focus on vitamins, minerals. We want you to focus on what we call gut health and things that improve your, your, your digestive system. And we want you also to focus on little bitty steps that you can take every day. Now, what do I mean by little bitty steps? Well, what you can do is start walking a little bit more. That reduces a lot of stress. Also start gardening if you like to garden, if you like to grow. Some of our shows, we show you how to grow a garden in front of your house. All these are opportunities for you to take advantage of the recipes for success. So today, what we're going to do is understand that we have help and opportunities for people who are struggling in that area. So first of all, I'm going to give you a resource. It's called the Office of Minority Health. It's the state of Missouri's Office of Minority Health, and you can look for the resources. So if you or somebody you know that's struggling in these times and they need some help and encouragement, let's take the stigmatism off of that. Let's get our people the help, our loved ones the help and the training that we need to deal with some of the problems that we're dealing with. So here's a number you can dial. It's 1-573-751-6064. I'll repeat that. It's one 573-751-6064. This office is de dedicated entirely for minority health and those issues that may be facing our community. This is also an office from the state of Missouri. So if you live in the state of Missouri, this is where you can call. Whether you're in Kansas City, St. Louis, or all over our beautiful state, these are resources that are available for you. So today, I'm so excited to be here at Urban Cafe on 5500 Truce. This is my friend, Chef Justin, and, and this is an amazing restaurant. He's got amazing vision. And uh, come on, everybody, I want you to recommend and, and come on out to Urban Cafe. Uh, thanks to Televita, we want to thank all of our partners, all of our corporate partners such as Evergy and everybody else who wants us to have, go out in the community and talk about health, wellness, nutrition, and great food and eating. So join us and I'll be right back in one second with Chef Justin. Hello and welcome again. This is Will Coe with Recipes for Success and I'm here with Chef Justin of Urban Cafe and we're going to about ready to perform this great, great, I'm excited about this so they told me to stand still. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you Chef, you're, you're, welcome. For, you're welcome, you're welcome. for having me on your show. You're I'm welcome, excited. you're welcome. Yeah. Show us these beautiful ingredients you got here, Chef. Alright, so we're going to do one of our popular sandwiches. Okay. It's a pork belly sandwich. Mm. Smoked pork belly. You Smoke. want to talk about healthy eating? Yes. That's one of the best cooking techniques you can do okay grilling smoking and baking okay one of the best techniques you can do for healthy eating okay now we have the belly of the pig okay nice and smoked hickory wood look at that smoke I'm a, hickory I'm wood a, i'm gonna cut a nut, nice little piece off okay and, and this can be in. that you we can come in and get this sandwich oh yeah yeah you know when 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 i first started on uh, Port, you see that nice sound? Yeah, it's yes. Talking to us. It's it talking. is, it so is. So you want to get that nice and crispy. Yeah. So and you notice that I didn't add any extra oil because we don't need to. Right. The pork has its own natural fat. It's right. going to render in the pan. It's going to render. Yeah. Yeah. So this, uh, I actually created this dish because I like, I have a big, I have a love for Asian cuisine right asian food. right this has an asian influence you said yeah, yeah. it's almost yeah. like a it's almost like a bami sandwich but with a little twist okay okay um 
I'm going to peel the carrots. Yeah. See, carrots are good. And we were talking about that today. It's just yeah. about getting back to the veggies, getting back to the fresher ingredients. And uh, so we're going to create like a little slars. Okay. Of some sort. A slaw? Okay. All right. This it's, is uh, organic romaine hearts. Okay. All right. The reason why I'm using the hearts uh -huh. is because it's very crunchy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it has that nice little bite. I'm going to do a little shave on it. Yeah. Look at that. And that's romaine, that. yeah, yeah. So I created this dish in 2016 on uh -huh. 41st and Truce. On 41st and Truce, okay. Smoking pork belly in the back of the old tattoo shop. Okay. <laughs> just be free tattoos. Everybody was like, somebody, he put a cafe in the middle. Yeah, I remember free. Yeah. Would you like to see my tattoo? No, oh. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so, you know, um, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just wanted to create something that was very unique, different, and not, and it was very out the norm. Uh huh. And I that's didn't cilantro. Have a, yeah, this is fresh cilantro. Okay. Uh, and then we have lime. Lime. Okay. Wow. So and we, then from there, uh huh. I just couldn't take it off the menu. Okay, you couldn't. Fresh lime juice. Oh, wow. Wow. See. Cilantro and lime are like, yeah. Best friends. Best right? friends. Yeah, they exactly. They talk, they sing, yeah. they play together. Yeah. They, 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 oh, taco together. They taco <laughs> together. That's right. <laughs> if you, if you don't, if you like the tacos, yeah. the lime. But yeah, that, that's and then, good acid. And then here we have uh, black toasted sesame seeds. Okay. And I'm smelling that pork belly over there. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Oh. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. You see how, you see yeah, how look all, at that. That, all that. Yeah. No added. See, that's a Nothing. healthier way. We're we're all Don't about reducing, need. reducing. You know, oil and all those types of things. Oh yeah. Look at that. Because it has its own natural oil in there. Uh huh. Know? We don't need to add more to it. Exactly. Right. Right. Less now, is more. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then, since the pork belly is not as healthy, yes. but it's the way we cook it. Right. 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 So now we're go we're not going to add like mayo. We're going to go a non you know like a non fat. Non-fat, okay. On, on when it comes to like sauces. Right. This is our special sauce. This is our sambal mixture. Sambal mixture. I can't tell you too much of the recipe. Okay, okay. But there's a lot of different sauces that you can make with yogurt. Yes. Yogurt is the best. Even in Indian culture, I don't know if you noticed, but uh -huh. they cook with a lot of yogurt. Yogurt, yeah. And yogurt's excellent. Uh, it's excellent for gut health. And that's part of the things we were talking about with Minority Health Month is just like, how can people go out and get purchase some of these things? Chef, like you said, you got these are really, really simple ingredients. Very but simple. They, they have these complex flavors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do, like, can you smell that? Yes, it's good. Yeah, and that's all in yogurt. That's Greek yogurt, yeah, right? That's yes. organic Greek yogurt. Organic Greek yogurt. See, Chef pulls out the best ingredients, and you can I'm trying. too. Yeah, I'm trying. You got Anybody to, bro. Can. <laughs> yes, if we if we could do it, you can do it, folks. All right. So, so. now we have this nice, crispy sear. Yeah. I don't know if you pan. guys. Yeah, look I don't know at if that. you guys can see that. Can they not. smell it? I wish they could. Hey, yeah, I know, because it's good. It's, it's good. Television. It's they got smell of vision. Uh, we need one in 4K. You know, knock them out with the with the smells and the and the flavors. All right, so, uh oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm jumping a gun. Uh oh, all right. Let's add this this sauce. Okay. Top and bottom. You can't Top play. Top and bottom. And this is much better than mayo, because this oh, is yeah. a different ingredient. Yes. Very different ingredient. Uh huh. Non fat. It's not going to. I would say kill you faster. Right, right, but it won't put you in faster. Well, we don't want that saying we're right. doing. <laughs> we don't want a heart attack. Yeah, we want the slow one. A slow yeah. one. <laughs> but no, right. I like the Asian slaw here. That, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps that, it nice and crispy. It's mm -hmm. perfect for summer. Not, and this sandwich is super light. Yes, yes. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay. Just throw that right on there. Throw that right on there. Wow, and I see that the, the juice from the lime oh, is yeah. kind of made like a little uh, sesame seed dressing type. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Oh, but that wow. right there is our popular sandwich. That's your popular. Okay. All right. And, and, and I really it. wanted to share that with you guys because no, I really want you guys you. to come and try that. Yeah, yeah. Especially Kansas City, you know, pork and, and barbecue and, yeah. and smoking, you know, uh, yeah. hickory wood. And it's that time of the year. It is. It's that it time is. of the it's year. summertime. This fits right on in with the Midwest. Yeah. Right. And you can eat healthier. Healthier. <laughs> we said healthier. Right. right. So in our restaurant, we, we serve it with home fries, which okay. is that we don't fry anything in our restaurant. Wow. So we don't have fryers. So what we do is that we spray the flat top uh -huh. and then we just uh, pre uh, blanch potatoes that we cut, mm -hmm. basically like um, steak fries. Right. And then we just take care and we just keep flipping them. 
until they get crispy. Now, now and then me, we have our own house. Now, I, I know about your journey, but okay. I want you to share your journey with folks in Televita and on our streaming platform because you have been uh, a successful chef in Kansas City yeah. in, 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 in various forms. And what drives well, you, chef? What, well, what? to be honest, I don't know about successful. I'm not successful yet. <laughs> okay. I'm just doing my thing. Doing your thing. That's, so, that's success. But, but, you know, I um, when I opened up Urban Cafe, uh -huh. um, my mom was going through cancer. Right, right. And uh, so I was working. I transitioned from the hotel industry uh -huh. um, to healthcare. Right. And I was cooking for the doctors uh -huh. and the CEO of Truman Medical Center. Okay, okay. So, and then I started doing cooking demos at um, City Market. Okay. Healthy cooking stuff. I don't know. It just kind of happened. It had kind of happened. And then right. my mom got really sick. Uh -huh. So... It just pushed me to do more, right? When be more conscious about when I prepare food. Exactly. And then, uh, so I never thought in a million years that my first restaurant uh -huh. would be a cafe. Right. I never worked a breakfast shift uh -huh. in my career. Okay. I never worked a lunch shift in my okay. career. Okay. Always did fine dining. My fine dining. Was at fine dining. Wow. Uh, I, I worked in uh, four star, five diamond hotels uh -huh. uh, over my course of time yes um and then uh i also went to culinary school in chicago so i lived in chicago for about five years before okay. i transitioned back here okay and um i don't know i just and it just kind of took me wherever yeah you you did. bring the love to the game and to the menu yeah. the love of food the passion for the community yeah. you know it, it it comes through yeah. yeah so when my mom when i found out my mom having cancer right. i kind of just uh, almost kind of like a panic you right. Know, when we yes. talk about mental, uh, yeah, mental, mental health, right. So the thing is, is that you know everybody knows that in the restaurant mm -hmm. business is very stressful. It's very stressful. Very stressful. Yes. And then finding out personal information like that, right? From my mom, and right. Thinking I was going to lose her. Yeah. Um, I just basically, my mom always told me. She always told me, mm -hmm. just you should have your own restaurant. You should be doing your own place. Right. Just be free. Yeah. Just do whatever you want to right. do. Right. Right. And that always played back in my head. Yes. So, Saved up a little bit of money I had. Uh -huh. My wife supported me around that time, uh -huh. and uh, and here we are now. I didn't know it was going to grow. I'm right. not from Kansas City, right? But I grew up. I had I spent a night a nice amount of time here, right? But I didn't know how big of an impact it would be by putting a cafe on Truce. Right. It was That's, huge. Right. It was huge. That was that yeah. was not fried food based. Right. That was not unhealthy. That was not fried chicken. Yeah. Soul food. Yeah. Yeah. You came in and changed the dynamic. You, right. You brought it, you elevated cuisine in the area yeah. and you've been able to introduce new ingredients and yeah. fresher ingredients. I know you work with a lot with the local farmers in the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I started and, out and that's, that was the goal. That because was the goal. if you really think about it, restaurants should, it should be automatic like that. Right. You know, you should try to get the best ingredients as possible. Right. For your restaurant, for right. your customers. That's the only way you should stand out. Or you can be like everybody else. Yeah, and your food tastes like everybody else, right? Right. So <laughs> what makes you unique? So, exactly. I, you know, I feel um, I feel pretty good about our menu. Yes, And yes. what we have, because we offer things that no one in the city offers. Right, right. And and you started, like I said, you started with that care and concern for your mom. Yeah. You, you, like I said, your journey, I feel like it's successful because you, you really picked up uh, you know, on truce, you guys were the first ones out there really yeah, kind of opening true. up a cafe, yeah. bringing in the fresh ingredients, you know, the basil, the uh, the bowl, was yeah, the yeah, urban bowl? The urban bowl. That and thing is just so popular. Right. And it's designed to be, um, you know, just diverse yes. because of you can add protein to it yes. or you can make it strictly plant. -based. Right. Right. You cater to both sides, the vegan community and, yeah. and the, the people that like the, the pork belly community right. and the steak. But you're even before it was a trend. Yeah. Before it was a trend. <laughs> right. Exactly. Because now is the trend now yeah. but you know but even adding carrots uh romaine lettuces and those are things that people need to bring more into the diet yeah, limes sure. are very good yeah. uh, cilantro at green acres i mean we grow the cilantro and and then I mean, we, we just like how it just tastes this yeah. is so different and you're you're right your commitment to the local you know growers and, and getting that local presence in your food yeah and like yes. you said earlier you are what you eat yes yes Speak, i'm going back to my mom only because i want to say one last thing no go ahead is that she actually beat cancer by changing her diet right she she made the tumor uh -huh. or the cancer smaller right just by meditation and changing your diet, but all yeah. plant-based. Right, all plant-based. You really are what you eat. Yeah, so. and, and that's what Recipes for Success is about. We want to share stories like Chef Justin's because this is real. And, and what we're dealing with in this month is, you know, um, 
Minority Health Month, that's real. Let's take the stigmatism away from that and really talk about our diets, like mm -hmm. you said, our eating habits, and how we can change the narrative, you know, like your mom did. Yeah. She, she, she did a great job. Her story is well published. Yeah. She said, I'm not about to be yeah. doing this chemo. I'm yeah, just, no, and she, know, yeah, she's, she went she's leading the way. community in the vegetarian air, air fields and, and, yeah. and having the, uh, I think she has the, uh, the big festival. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, out? she has a... Uh, um, Veggie Fest. Fest. Yeah, Veggie Fest. Fest. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. If you don't know, my mom's name is Gigi the Vegan. So yeah, Gigi I'm the sure Vegan. Here. <laughs> and we're going to hopefully get Gigi the Vegan on the show because her story is so powerful yeah. and it empowers, it gives you the opportunity at Televita and all of our streaming audiences of recipes for success. It's all about you. It's finding about what some of these basic ingredients can go into your diet mm -hmm. and help you at least reduce some of the things you might be going through. Yeah. 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 So I want to thank you for taking the time, Chef, at Urban Cafe. No they, guys, you can go to DoorDash, all those other uh, apps online. They, they, they love to you yeah. know deliver, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we got Grubhub, DoorDash, yeah. Uber Eats. And then you can come right in in a beautiful cafe. And then talk about the Saturday experience. So Look. our Saturday is that we bring live music in for our uh, brunch. Our yeah. brunch starts at 9 a.m. And okay. we're done at two. Done then, at two. Okay. Yeah. So we. Uh, so we. So so far it was what we partnered with UMKC Jazz students. Oh. So yeah. So we have the Jazz students come and um, the guy that we have Isaiah. He's uh, he's pretty good. He's okay. Pretty good. He's, he's he's you know it's a nice little jam. Yeah. Set. Yeah. We'll come out on Saturdays. You may catch a guy like me here. I won't be in front of the camera. I'll be eating on the buffet line. <laughs> <laughs> no buffet. You yeah, no buffet. Okay, see, that's good. See, that's another thing, you know, portion control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, we're doing it all by the book at Recipes right. for Success. Well, Chef, go ahead and uh, just give us last one more uh, greeting. Tell the folks how to come out and see okay. you online. And yeah, so uh, Urban Cafe, 5500 Truths, Urban Cafe KC on every social media uh, platform, Urban Cafe KC. Uh, dot com is the website. Very easy. You can order online through our website. Uh, we also have a food truck. So if you have a special event, if you want to rent out our space, yeah. if you want live music when you have a birthday party or graduation party, just let us know. We can make a, a really good package for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And these guys are well connected in the community. They're giving great students at UMKC an opportunity to showcase their their talents and skills here. And, and they're bringing in this this five star cuisine and just and, and it's just so fresh yeah. and clean. Yeah. So, man, I thank you. I thank everybody here from uh, Recipes for Success. This is Will Coe. We thank you in Televita. Stay watching us next week's a big week. Today is your day. Don't let it go by you. Take advantage, take control of your life and your diet like Chef Clark just talked about how his mom beat cancer. It's possible, guys. It is possible. It's the recipe for success. It's Thank in your you. diet. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Chef. We're going to eat this too. Yeah. 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 I got jalapeno right. chips. Oh, okay. Jalapeno <laughs> chips. See? So here we go. Uh -huh. So that's, you know, it's not a sandwich without chips. I, right. I, I don't know who invented the chips, but they were dead on point. Yeah. But look at that. That looks stunning, Chef. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. So do we still eat dinner on camera? <laughs> Here, I'm gonna grab a chip or two. Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah, I don't have a glove, but thank you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next week. So recipes for success. This is real code. Thank you and talk to you soon.